Hey everyone, Itai Manero here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to paint with oils on a 3D canvas in Procreate. So let's jump right into it. In order to achieve this, I'm going to be using my thick paint brush set for Procreate. I have just released a brand new update for this set that contains various 3D canvases ready to paint on using the new 3D painting features in Procreate 5.2. Of course, this update is entirely free for previous customers. You can find this set through the link in the description below. And while the 3D canvases are exclusive to the full version, you can also find a free mini version of this set for you to try out on my Gumroad page. Now let's have a look at these new 3D canvases, and I'll explain how they work. The first thing you'll see is that there is 5 different canvases included, with different aspect ratios and orientations. We have something close to a 4x3 aspect ratio in landscape and in portrait mode, a 1x1 one one square canvas, and a panoramic canvas in landscape and portrait mode as well. If you open any of these, you'll see that you can navigate this 3D canvas, like with any other of the official 3D assets that you can download from Procreate. With two fingers, you can zoom in and out. With one finger, you can rotate the canvas. You can tell that I have put a lot of effort into making these canvases look very detailed and realistic. And for the first time in Procreate, you are going to be able to paint on a canvas that has a real thick paint effect, with volume in the strokes that react to the lighting of the environment. By the way, lighting that you can change, just like with any other 3D models in Procreate. Additionally, if you open the layers for the frame part of the 3D model, you'll see that I have included four different photorealistic textures for the frame that you can choose from, or you could also turn them off entirely and paint the frame yourself however you want. I already have a couple of videos about how to use the thick paint brush set for painting on regular 2D canvases, so if you haven't watched those, I would recommend to check them out. I will not go too much into details in this video about the basics, but I want to point out some differences when painting on a 3D canvas. Mainly because in this case the thick paint texture is already modeled into the 3D object. You don't need to import the oil texture sheets that are included with the set. I still like to import an oil color base, so that I don't start to paint from a pure white canvas. For the most part, you can just start to paint in these 3D canvases, and not worry so much about having to import extra textures, as the 3D model is going to give them to you already. When you open the layers menu, and click on the canvas part of the model, you'll find this layer, named paint here. This is the place where you are going to paint, and also add more layers if you need them, during the painting process. The most important thing you need to remember when painting on the 3D canvases is to tap on this little cube icon in whatever layer you're painting on every time and then tap on this sub-layer called color. This is important because it will preserve the plastic quality of the material in your painting. There's two more sub-layers next to it, called roughness and metallic. If you don't open this sub-menu and you just paint directly in the layer, you will be painting on the three sub-layers at the same time, causing the loss of the plastic properties in your paint. I guess you could do that if you intentionally want to have a matte finish in your painting, but I think that keeping the plastic material makes the experience more realistic. Another thing to have in mind is that some brushes seem to be a little bit glitchy when painting on 3D models. I've looked into it, because I thought it was a problem with my oil brushes, but it turns out that this also happens with some of the default brushes that come with Procreate. It looks like we will have to wait until Savage fixes this bug, but I wanted to make you aware of this. I'd like to mention that this update for my thick paint brush set is not just a great tool for painting directly on the 3D canvases, but you can also import previous paintings that you have done on a regular 2D canvas. This could be great for presentation purposes or for posting on social media, the last thing I have to explain is that there are two different versions of my 3D canvases included with this set. They come with a 4K resolution, but there's also a version with a 2K resolution. Unfortunately, not all iPads can work with the 4K version, and you'll find that less powerful iPads will only be able to open these 2K models. This is normal, and it also happens with the official 3D models that Procreate provides. 
but at least I wanted to offer both options so that more people could play and have fun with these 3D canvases. Now that I have explained everything you need to know about this update, let's paint something in one of these canvases. But before we do that, let me quickly tell you that you can benefit from a 25% Black Friday discount on all my individual brush sets for Procreate. This special deal will only last until the 29th of November, so make sure to check it out before it's too late. Use the promo code BRUSHFRIDAY21 on checkout. You can find the link to my Gumroad page in the description below. Okay, I'm going to be using this beautiful photo reference by Elise Wilcox. If you want to follow along, I have also left a link to the original picture in the description of this video. Remember that you can see what brush I'm currently using at all times by looking at this rectangle here. As you probably have noticed, the first thing I've done is to import one of the oil color bases included with this set. I really like to do that, because as I mentioned before, it gives me something else to work from than a pure white canvas, which in my opinion makes the early stages of the painting process more enjoyable. The second thing I'm doing is to dedicate a considerable amount of time to make sure that I have a proper sketch before painting. To do that, I like to use a combination of the super wet flat brush to define the big main shapes and the fine oil sketch for those parts of the drawing where I need more precision like in the face features. You can also see how sometimes I'm using the selection tool to move some parts of my drawing and adjust their position a little bit. Once I'm happy with my sketch, I start to paint the background very roughly. The focus of my painting is going to be the girl, so I prefer to have more of an undefined background for this piece. Then I'll start to paint the skin. And notice how I'm quickly making a distinction between the shadow and the light areas that I had already defined during the sketching stage. I'm also placing the basic colors on the clothes and the hat. And at this point I don't mind to merge already my painting layers with the sketch. It doesn't take me long until I start to differentiate the shadow areas from the areas that are directly hit by the light in the clothing. The next step for me is to start adding some color variations and richness of hue in the skin and also defining a little bit more the volumes and shapes in the face and overall in the figure. Notice how I'm slowly painting on top of the sketch lines. I want them to be almost gone once my painting is finished. Sometimes, you'll see me switch between different brushes. I mainly do it because I want my textures to look as realistic as possible, so the different textures that using different brushes can provide really helps to achieve that. I'll use brushes that have more noticeable bristles. Other times I'll use brushes that look more like a dry brush stroke. And other times I rely more on wet brushes for painting and color mixing. Here, you can see how I define the hair volumes using a combination of wet and dry brush strokes. I'm also using the fine oil sketch brush to define a little more the details in the face, like the eyelashes, the eyebrows, and the lips. At times, I like to use a brush like the brush strokes 1 or 2 to blend some hard edges away, like you can see me do right now. 
and then reintroduce some hard edges in specific areas to help defining the shapes. Now, I'm darkening a little bit the darker spots and marking some light spots in the face. I'm also using some of the Super Oil Splat brushes to add some more brush stroke randomness in some parts of the background. Once the painting is finished, I like to have a look at which of the frames works best in combination with the artwork and also play with the lighting in the scene a little bit. As a final touch, I adjust the levels, color and contrast of the painting until it feels right to me. I really hope you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe for more art related videos and give me a thumbs up. Also make sure to check out my Gumroad page, where you will find the thick paint brush set for Procreate and many other sets that I have available. Remember that for a limited time only, there's a 25% Black Friday discount on all my individual sets. All the links are in the description below. Okay, thank you for watching, see you next time.